Hello everybody. In this video, I will be responding to a comment that I received recently on my channel. The comment says, in your Q&A question video, why did you lost $2,500 on Robinhood's $16 call? It doesn't make sense. Explain it in the video. So I had a Robinhood $16 covered call and I was down $2,500. And this person says it doesn't make sense. So in this video, I'm going to explain step-by-step -step instructions on how to calculate profit and loss of covered calls on Robinhood. Step one, in your Robinhood portfolio, go to the covered call. So here's my portfolio and here's my covered calls. Let's pick one. Let's go with Starbucks. So here I'm selling the Starbucks $75 covered call. Step two, find the average credit of the position. This can be found in the your position section. So we're looking for the average credit. If I scroll down here, here it is, the average credit, $4.85. That is the average credit for these Starbucks covered calls. Step three, find the current price of the position. This can also be found in the your position section. So now we're looking for the current price. Here it is, the current price, $6.03. That's the current price. Step four, subtract the current price from the average credit. So now that we know the current price and the average credit, we're going to subtract the current price from the average credit. So the average credit is $4.85. So $4.85 is the average credit. And we're going to subtract the current price from that. So $6.03. So subtract $6.03. That equals negative $1.18. Step five, multiply that number by the number of contracts. This can be found on the right hand side under review order. So number of contracts, if we look on the right hand side under the review order button, it says two contracts, two contracts. So we're going to multiply by two times two that equals negative $2 and 36 cents. Step six, multiply that number by 100 since each covered call applies to 100 shares. So we're going to multiply by 100. This equals negative $236. So if we did the math correctly, the current position of my Starbucks covered calls, I should be down $236. Let's check. As you can see, it says total return negative $236. So that is step-by-step -step instructions on how you can calculate why a certain position of covered calls has a certain, you know, return on it. Either you're losing $2,500, you're down $236, you're up $1,000, whatever the total return is, that's how you calculate it. So let's do another example. Let's go back. And yeah, congratulations. That is how you calculate the profit loss of a covered call on Robinhood. Let's start over from step one. Okay, so step one in your Robinhood portfolio, go to the covered call. This time, let's pick a different one. Let's pick PayPal. So here's my PayPal $65 covered calls. Step two, find the average credit. So the average credit, here it is. The average credit is $3 and 75 cents. Step three, find the current price. Okay. What's the current price? The current price is 97 cents. 
Step four, subtract the current price from the average credit. All right, the average credit is $3.75. $3.75. And we're gonna subtract the current price from it, which is 97 cents. So we're gonna subtract 97 cents. That equals $2.78. Step five, multiply that number by the number of contracts. So if we look over here, it says two contracts. So we're going to multiply by two. Five dollars and fifty six cents. Step six, multiply that number by one hundred. So multiply this number by one hundred. Five hundred fifty six dollars. So if we did the calculation correctly, for my PayPal $65 covered call position, I should be profiting $556 at the moment. So let's check. 556. Yep. So where it says total return, it says right here, $556 is my current return. Let's do another example. Again, let's start from step one. Step one, in your Robinhood portfolio, go to the covered call. Let's pick a different one this time. This time, let's go with uh, Google. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. Step two, find the average credit. Let's scroll down here, find the average credit. The average credit is $5.54. Step three, find the current price. The current price, $3.13. Step four, subtract the current price from the average credit. So the average credit is $5.54. $5.54. And we're going to subtract $3.13 from that. So subtract $3.13. That equals $2.41. Step five, multiply that number by the number of contracts. So in this case, it just says one contract. So multiply that by one, $2.41. Step six, multiply that number by 100. So multiply this number by 100. $241. So if we did the calculations correctly, my Google $180 covered calls should be up $241. Let's check. And as you can see right here where it says total return, it says $241. So that's step-by-step -step instructions on how we got to this number. That's why my Google covered calls are currently up $241. It's based on the average credit and the current price, and we do the calculations based on those. And lastly, this is from a previous video I did. These are my Robin Hood $16 covered calls, which is what the original poster was asking about. So let's do the calculation for this one. The average credit is $2.71. The current price is $4.93, so we want to take the average credit, $2.71, $2.71, and we want to subtract the current price, $4.93, so subtract $4.93, that equals negative $2.22, and then we want to multiply by the number of contracts, it says over here there's 10 contracts so we want to multiply by 10 so multiply by 10 and then lastly we multiply by 100 and as you can see according to our calculations my robin hood 16 dollars covered calls should be down two thousand two hundred twenty dollars and if we go back to this screen as you can see my total return for my Robinhood $16 covered calls, 
I was down $2,224. The calculation is not exact, but it gives you a very, very close number. So that is how you calculate the current return of your covered call position. It's based on your average credit and your current price. So I hope this helped you understand better why my Robinhood $16 covered calls were losing $2,500. It's based on the average credit and the current price. And then you do the calculations based on the step-by-step -step instructions I talked about in this video. I hope this gave you a better understanding of how this all works. And if anyone else has any more questions, feel free to leave your questions down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.